As technology progresses, the want to make devices smaller and smaller becomes ever more enticing. One of the products of this desire is the device you're looking at right now. This is the Azul Access Plus Mini PC that's so small it can literally fit in my pants pocket. But don't let its size fool you. This is a fully functioning Windows 10 PC with support for all of the standard desktop applications. In terms of specs, this PC has a quad-core Intel Atom processor, the Z8300 to be exact. Now, even though this does have four cores, it's a pretty weak CPU, which is confirmed by the fact it receives a Cinebench score of around 100. The CPU has a base clock of 1.44 GHz and can turbo up to 1.84 GHz. It has integrated Cherry Trail graphics and is very power efficient, consuming only 2 watts. This combined with 2GB of DDR3 RAM and 32GB of flash storage means it's a great machine for browsing the web, watching videos, and editing documents, which is cool and all, but the real question we want to know is, will it game? Now before we get into the benchmarks, I kind of want to put things into perspective. This isn't a machine that's meant for gaming. Its specs put it on par performance-wise to a Core 2 Duo PC from a decade ago in an obviously much smaller package. I mean, the fact they fit an entire computer in a PC that's not too much bigger than a USB thumb drive is pretty amazing to me. With only 2GB of RAM, an underpowered CPU, and lackluster integrated graphics, my expectations weren't set very high. I knew I would need to test the least demanding games available which also seem to be the games that people are playing the most. The titles I settled on for testing were CSGO, Minecraft, and Rocket League, which I felt were a pretty good range of games to represent the low end of games people are currently playing. And yes, this will run League of Legends, but then again, so does this Russet Potato. Starting off with Minecraft, this is one of the most popular PC games of all time. At what I would consider medium setting 720p, this PC was able to push out an average of 34 FPS with somewhat frequent drops in the upper 20s, but never going below 25. Overall, Minecraft is playable, but not that enjoyable. In CSGO, this PC was not able to output the 60 FPS that you really need to be competitive, and wasn't even able to average above 30 FPS. At 720p low settings, this PC achieved an average of 26 FPS with a low of 22. So CSGO on this little machine is pretty much out of the question. Finally, I decided to test Rocket League, a popular and relatively easy to run game where you play soccer as cars. At 720p low settings, this PC got an average of 29 FPS with a low of 24, which again was playable but not enjoyable. So as you can see, the least demanding games people are currently playing aren't able to run at enjoyable frame rates on the system. Something this may be good at, which let me know in the comments if you'd like to see, is emulating old consoles with this PC, which would make for a pretty interesting video. Now, even though you can't game directly on this mini PC, I wanted to see if I could stream games through the Steam in-home streaming, and for those of you that don't know, in-home streaming allows you to play games on one PC that are being run on a separate machine. For example, I ran GTA 5 on my personal rig and streamed it to the mini PC. Now, this was on a wired network to reduce latency, and overall the experience wasn't great. For fast-paced stuff like driving in GTA 5, there was just too much input lag for it to be a viable option, but for slower scenes and less fast-paced games in general like City Skylines, this could be a pretty viable option. So conclusion time. Can you game on this tiny PC? No, not really. And that's okay because that's not what this is meant for. Like I said before, this is a computer meant for light tasks like browsing the web, editing documents, and watching videos. If you guys want to watch my review of the Azul Access Plus, I'll leave a link to it in the description and card above, along with a link to Amazon for current pricing and availability. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.